Talk to me about why people might consider this blown in option from you guys. Yeah, so the propane complete blown in wall system is what I would do in my own home. It is going to give you really good thermals, a little bit higher than bats because yep. you get the density. It's going to give you airflow resistance, so some air sealing properties and really good acoustics for a very fair price for its performance. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a step up, but nowhere near what, let's say, had we closed cell foam this wall. And I really like this. I mean, we've got a total fill in here. And in the last room, I kind of showed how the installer did a great job uh, on that uh, line set. If a line set was in this wall, it would perfectly encapsulate it. There's a little less installer, you know, perfection they want you to worry about. Absolutely. It's going to go around every box, wire, pipe, line set. Here's a box. great example of that. Yeah, when that electrical box is in, it's perfectly forming a bat around that and also the wire that's uh, in there. A custom fit for every cavity. And if you've seen some of the two by fours and lumber that is out today, you know not every <laughs> cavity is perfect. Very so, true. Great product. And installers love it too. If you get a complex wall, yep. this can actually be faster for installers yeah. because they're not having to cut and split and do all the things that they do to get that that good install. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So had this been bats, we might have used our R13 bats in this wall. But because we went into this blown in blanket, we're probably getting something more like R15, R14 in there. Just a little bit more, you know, maybe 10% higher R value in this wall. Yeah which in the long run makes a difference. And let's actually talk about that for a minute. Uh, you know, Trey, when, when I talk to builders at, at conferences, I'm typically saying that builders should shoot for something like 25 to 50% better than what code calls for uh, on their insulation value. And the big reason I say that is number one, you're not gonna get back and re-insulate your walls for at least 50 or 100 years. And number two, we want to have some amount of future proofing, right? If this house resells in 10 years, how nice would it be to say, oh yeah, we meet code currently because we did this higher level and we know those codes are going to continue to ratchet up. And additionally, Matt, there are often utility rebates. Uh, there are federal government rebates to builders for going above code. So sometimes you could, there's money on the table to be doing things right. That's great. Yeah. The last thing I'll mention on that too, Trey, that I always like to talk about is Forget code, forget energy savings or ROI. It's all about comfort. And we're in the primary bedroom, you know, the bed's right here. Mom and dad are laying down their heads every night right here. How nice is it to have this room not have a bunch of heat transfer or cold transfer through the walls? We actually upgraded to triple glazed windows in this room for that reason. No one wants to get out of bed on a cold winter's day and feel that heat radiating off their body. So the same goes to the walls. Let's go that extra step. Let's go to that higher insulation value. And this is a great product because it's really well priced. Not much more than bats, but certainly less than a spray foam. We get a total insulation value. I really like it. This is a great choice.